For those of you who remember, last summer I made a video about the sweet life of Zack and Cody. Now that show came out in 2005 and I used to watch it back in the day as a very well adjusted high school senior. But after ending in 2008, Disney Channel immediately launched a spin-off sequel show. I mean like it's it's a spin-off, but it has almost the exact same cast, which I don't think Disney Channel's ever done since. Anyway, by that time I'd graduated and moved to Tokyo, so I know nothing about this whole sweet life on deck nonsense, but a lot of you have been asking for it, so Let's give it a watch. But before that, really quick, this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Somehow, it's 2021. Pretty much everyone knows what a VPN is. It protects you when you're on the internet, it stops your IP address from being hacked, and your personal data getting exposed. I mean, everybody needs one. But Surfshark VPN goes above and beyond your typical VPN. You can use it on as many devices as you want with just one subscription. They also offer their Surfshark alert service that checks to see if your personal data has been leaked anywhere, like usernames, passwords, that kind of thing. So you can stay one step ahead. As well as their Surfshark search engine, which is a completely private and organic search engine free from data tracking and overreaching algorithms. And get this, you can sign up to Surfshark VPN today by going to surfshark.deals slash Alex Myers and use the promo code Alex Myers to get 83% off the regular price when you sign up for a two-year subscription. That means you get premium VPN services and a guaranteed peace of mind using any device or all of them at the same time, plus three extra months for free. So if you don't have a VPN, then you really need to sign up. But even if you already have one, go to surfshark.deal slash Alex Myers and use the promo code Alex Myers to give Surfshark a try. Okay, back to the show. We start off with the titular Zack and Cody arriving on a cruise ship ready to start their first day at Seven Seas High School. You know, because heaven forbid these kids get any kind of normal education. I can't believe I get to study oceanography on the ocean. I'm gonna study anatomy. <laughs> Starting with her. <laughs> You know, this is one of those pickup lines that never really made sense to me. Hey, Kelsey, how about you help me study anatomy after school? And then you go over to her house and she's like, So, here's my intestines. Now, right after this, we're reunited with some other characters from the original series, like Mr. Mosby, and everyone's least favorite, London Tipton. While it may be on a cruise ship, London, this is not a vacation. Your daddy put you on this boat so that you can't jet off to Paris for lunch and miss your afternoon classes. I had afternoon classes? Mm. What's next? Classes in the morning? So I guess in 2008, Ashley Tisdale was just a little too big for these sweet life britches, you know what I'm saying? She's like, <laughs> forget you guys, I'm bringing in the high school musical money now. But then you got Brenda Song over here just like, hey, anybody remember Wendy Wu? I was in that, I saved Homecoming from like aliens or something, I don't know what happens in that movie, but it's a classic. You all watched it, right? Anybody? Hello? So now that we've met all the returning cast members, it's time to see who the new kids are. Oh, there's the check in line. It's okay, Mom. I'll take it from here. Oh, but Bailey, don't you need me to sign the form? Got it. Oh my goodness, is that Debbie Ryan? She's in this show? She's so small. She's just like, Buck. I mean, can you believe people get older over time? Who knew? Also, I love how at 14, she's old enough to be a Disney Channel high school student, and then 10 years later at 24, she's finally old enough to be a Netflix high school student. I'll take it from here. Oh, but Bailey, don't you need me to sign the form? Got it. I love you. I love you. Have a good flight back to Kansas. Okay. Give a big hug to Sally Mae and Betty Lynn and all the other chickens. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, okay, Disney Channel. Come on, I grew up in the Midwest myself, okay? I hardly knew any kids who had, like, pet chickens or whatever. Nah, you see, when I went over to kids' houses, we just played with empty bottles of acetone and old boxes of Sudafed we found in the basement. Anyway, so this girl's name is Bailey, and while she might look to you to be a totally normal high school girl, turns out she has a little bit of a secret. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put the seat down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love- <laughs> I'm sorry. I love when girls try to act like how they think guys do, and they just walk like this and burp and fart all the time, and just randomly say things like, Yeah, bro, I like boobs. As if that's just how we all spend our day. Instead of what guys actually do, which is seeing how many potatoes you can throw at your friend's head before you knock him out. But anyway, after getting the room assignments, Zach and Cody head off to unpack their stuff. Well, this is my room. Guess this is it. After 15 years of sharing a room, we're finally going our separate ways. I'll miss ya. <laughs> hey, I'm Ka holy Toledo. Nice to meet you, Kaholi. What happened in here? Oh, I was looking for my underwear. Here it is. Oh man, are you no, are you kidding me? He has to share a room with a fat kid? You didn't use the bathroom yet, right? Oh yeah, I broke that puppy in. Everyone knows the worst thing ever is having to associate with a fat kid. Now I've talked about this before, but I used to be a fat kid. In fact, I actually looked a lot like this to be honest. And I always assumed girls didn't like me because of my weight. And then my last year of high school, I lost like 60 pounds. And I realized that being fat had nothing to do with it. You see, it turns out they didn't like anything else about me either. But anyway, flashing sideways over to Zach, we get to see who he's gonna be rooming with. 
Yo, I'm Bailey Pickett. Sup? <laughs> please, please stop. Oh, uh, that's my girlfriend's. Well, I didn't think it was yours. So, uh, what's your girl like? She's very intelligent. And she's got a great personality. You know, I watch a lot of these kinds of shows, and there's always this thing about how girls want a smart, sensitive guy, and they want a guy who likes them for their personality or whatever. But I gotta call shenanigans here, okay? Because, like, no girls in high school care about a guy's personality. And I know this, because most dudes in high school don't even have one. But anyway, whatever. Back to the show. She's very intelligent. And she's got a great personality. Arf, arf. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Disney Channel I remember. Anyway, so the day goes on and they start going to their classes, like this one, where they reenact that one Belle Delphine video. But sometime later in the day, Zach is taking a shower because of the aforementioned tentacle situation. And this is when we get the big twist of the episode. Hey, you see my soap on a wall? <laughs> I'm a girl. All the girl spots for this year were filled, so... I applied as a guy. It worked right up to the moment when you walked out when you were scheduled to be taking a shower and ruined the whole thing. So somehow this is my fault. Don't you knock when you leave a bathroom. Lucky I was raised by a woman, so this sort of irrational behavior doesn't throw me. <laughs> oh jeez, okay. Hey kids, welcome to Disney Channel. We got fat kid jokes, questionable stereotypes. I'm filthy rich. Oh, hold that gangplank, I've got things to buy. And uh, crazy girl hormones on the docket today. <laughs> Anyway, so Zach agrees to keep the secret because that means he gets the room with a cute girl and who knows what could happen. Don't worry. It'll be our little secret. Woody said he's willing to tray. Why are you guys holding hands? <laughs> uh, secret handshake. Yes. But a little bit after this, there's an emergency sinking ship drill. And wouldn't you know, one thing leads to another and we find our main characters falling into a hot tub. And golly gee whiz, guess what happens to Bailey? We fell overboard! <laughs> Probably because it's a hot tub. Why is there a hot tub in the middle of the ocean? You should have it. Dude, you're a girl. Oh. I am? That explains so much. Yeah, I was wondering where all these irrational outbursts were coming from whenever someone pulls my AirPods out of my ear to ask me for my phone number or, you know, completely disregards my opinions about, like, everything. <laughs> Wouldn't you know, crazy hormones the whole time. But of course, Zach wants her to stay because she is girl. It was our only way to get out of popcorn, Kansas. Kettle corn. Whatever. <laughs> Look, this girl was meant for bigger things than the shuck hogs. I'm sorry, what's that? Shuck hogs. Shuck hogs. Okay, well, you know, it's just a couple things out there you don't want to say too fast, all right? Words like pianist. Pianist here, Miss Jarvis. And phrases like whatever you just said. Now, it's starting to look like Bailey might get kicked out of school because all the girl spots are taken, but that's when London steps in to save the day. Sort of, kind of. Unfortunately, we don't have a cabin to put you in. She can stay in my room. I'm willing to take one for the team. I meant a girl's cabin. Every girl has a roommate. <laughs> Except for me. London, thank you, thank you. Huh? So nice of you to offer to share your room with Bailey. Well, I wasn't offering. I was gloating! And so Bailey is allowed to stay, thanks to London not having a roommate, and then the show goes on for three seasons, ending in 2011 with the Sweet Life movie. But you know, having watched a lot of these shows back now, like I've done Sweet Life, Hannah Montana, Sweet Life on Deck, and I even did some Nickelodeon shows from around the same time, like Victorious and Drake and Josh and whatever, there's definitely this very consistent style of joke or character archetype. Like there's this very clear distinction between the characters who are generally considered to be kind of normal versus the ones who are the most over the top. They said they're going to be attending But I'm gonna need some sunscreen. My skin's like a baby's bottom. A little too much information, cowboy. <laughs> oh, look at me, giddy up, partner. You for Kaye. Now, obviously, these shows came out like 10 to 15 years ago, so judging them by today's standards is a little unfair, but I think it's kind of interesting to look at what we all used to consider wholesome kids' entertainment back in the day. The other thing I find interesting about the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody pantheon, the, the epic saga, if you will, is like how it kind of ended. Um, behind the scenes, right? Dylan and Cole Sprouse, they were, they, I think they executive produced the movie. Like they were really big and, and they were getting like paid very highly and they had a lot of ideas for what to do with the show after 
it ended. And and uh, from what I've read, there's an interview that Dylan did, uh, I think like three or four years ago. I think it was like BuzzFeed or Vulture or something. Um, and it was talking about how like they kind of pushed him out. Where like they had these ideas of like, here's how we could do it. And here's what we think worked. And here's what didn't work. And let's do this. And the, uh, the executives kind of just like laughed in their faces. And they're like, yeah, you're just a bunch of dumb kids. What do you know? So, you know, the Sprouse twins left Disney with kind of a bitter taste in their mouth. It's interesting how like... A lot of people who do Disney Channel stuff when they're kids, when they're like teenagers or whatever, right? And then they end up leaving, and either they leave on really bad terms, or um, they just, they kind of, like, we, we saw with, like, Miley Cyrus and um, Zendaya a little bit, and even, like, you know, Selena Gomez, and, and a lot of the, the girls who come out of Disney Channel really go off the deep end for a while, and then they kind of... Some of them come back up, like Demi Lovato is a good example, right? Where she's still working through things. Um, and even with the guys, like I said, with the Sprouse twins, not that it was exactly the same level, but just like, you know, they also kind of came out of it with a pretty bitter taste in their mouth about how Disney works. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com. Let me know what TV show or movie or whatever you think I should do next. Should I do the Sweet Life movie or not? Let me know, you know? I have a game on the App Store. It's like a match three Candy Crush type game, but it's got my little dudes in it, so if that's interesting to you, click the link down below for that. Um, I have a podcast I do with my girlfriend. It's called Doing the Devil's Tango, where we, uh, it's like a dating advice, dating story kind of podcast, where we take emails from you all, and we kind of give our thoughts about what you should and shouldn't do and whatever. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, check out the link below for that. And above all, to everybody, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.